everybody it's mrs t from mrs t love life laughter and today i'm doing my very first tag of the year um 2015 i hope you guys had an amazing new year but i know you guys know i hang out a lot over at mama cat tv and mama cats losing it.com and she has these amazing weekly youtube link ups for tags and how to share any videos that you've done recently and today i decided to do her tag now if you follow my mrs t vlogs vlog postings you saw i think like last week sometime i was like yeah today's like a blah day and i'm not sure if i feel like setting up the camera and stuff to do this tag that i saw over at mama cats well the tag was a looking back at 2014 tag and i just assumed and you know what happens when you assume right i assumed that it was for last week since last week was new year's but it's actually assigned for this week's link up so since i got my camera all set up and you guys are here let's do this right okay so that's what we're doing the 2014 look back youtube tag now i scanned these questions but i didn't really like think up any answers so let's go number one what did you do in 2014 that you've never done before uh, attend a blog conference on my own traveled flew all that on my own I went to bloggy boot camp with SITS girls and it was awesome I cannot wait for my next conference experience but SITS boot camp SITS girls boot camp was definitely the perfect first blogger conference experience because it was intimate and you got to know different bloggers and connect with them on a one-on-one -on -one level instead of going for a big huge conference as your first one definitely a great choice definitely recommend it number two what was your 2014 new year's resolution and how did you do um i don't really do resolutions which are like list of things that i guess you want to do through the year i did discover last year something called one word where you pick a word for the year and i did do that last year or 2014 my word was listen and i think i did pretty well because i was focused mainly on my children also other areas of my life mainly on my children and i did pretty good i did listen more the whole word came to me when my son um or yeah my son said like mommy you're not even listening to me and i was like you know what i'm really not like i was sitting there and i heard what he was saying but i wasn't really taking it in so i did work on that and i think i did pretty good at getting a little bit better at that number three what would you like to have accomplished in 2014 that you didn't get to um i don't think i like I said, I don't really do resolutions. I do have goals in my mind, like, hey, I would love to do this or I would love for this to happen. But I can't really think of anything that I had in my mind like that that I didn't do. I'm not really sure how to answer that because I didn't really do that. Makes sense? Okay, number four is what was your biggest achievement of the year? My biggest achievement was, and I know this sounds like really weird considering what I just answered to the last question, but it wasn't that I like set it as a goal. It honestly kind of happened and I didn't notice it. I actually made 10,000 page views on my site, Mrs. T Love Life Laughter .com. Um, I knew that a lot of companies asked for that as a target number. And so in the back of my mind, I was like, yo, I really want to hit that. But it wasn't like oh my god I have to get there you know what I mean and I honestly did not notice it until one day I was filling out an application for a campaign and they asked for your page views and when I went to check it it said 10,000 and I was like oh shoot when did this happen I didn't even know I got here so that was kind of awesome and it was like a really huge achievement for me because I don't know it just mean it meant something to me so that was it number five what was the best thing you bought um it was actually a gift but the best thing ever was this little beauty right here, this Nikon DSLR D5300. It was a present from the hubby last Christmas or Christmas of 2000. Well, see, that was actually Christmas of 2013, but it was still like the best thing. Um, if we want to get technical and say it had to have happened in 2014, I would say my MacBook Air because he bought me that for like Valentine's or something. So technically that was in 2014. So either my DSLR, if I can count Christmas, or my MacBook Air because they both help me reach new levels in blogging and vlogging, which are things that I'm trying to achieve and excel at right now. So those were definitely the best purchases. Did you travel anywhere memorable? Um, I would have to say 
my first blog conference in Atlanta. I flew on my own by myself and yeah, it was definitely memorable. Like many, many memories that I will treasure. I met two of my blogging pals that I friended over the internet and it was the first time we got to meet face to face. It was tens from perfect, I mean from New Mama Diaries and Perfect Tens Vlogs. And then I also met Mrs. AOK -Okay from Mrs. AOK, -Okay, a work in progress. And that's her name both here or YouTube land and on her site. I'll leave links for them down below because they are definitely two ladies you need to meet because they're awesome moms, awesome wives, awesome people, and definitely people who are friendly and make you feel welcome and loved. So that was definitely memorable because I got to meet them. Number seven, tell us a valuable life lesson you learned in 2014. I can do it. Um, there was a lot of times that I missed opportunities, missed things to do, missed going places because I felt like I couldn't do it on my own. And I had to learn in 2014 that I can do it. Um, like going to events, there, I would never have done things by myself. I always had to have someone I felt there to protect me or shelter me or support me. Um, most times my husband. But then this year or 2014, there were things that he just couldn't make it to. And he had to tell me, you can do this, you got this, go. And I had to learn that and that is definitely... The biggest lesson I learned and I'm so grateful for it because it's helping me to get a little bit beyond where I thought I could be um, number eight if you could look back on one memory this year you wish you could relive what would it be Disney World hello it was amazing we had so much fun but it was a little costly because we have a large family so I really do want to relive it or make it happen get have the level it's okay, I'll be fine. Pause. Pause. Okay, I really want to relive it and make it happen again. Most likely it won't be for the next couple of years because that's something we kind of got to like plan for and save up for, but definitely Disney. Number nine, if you could change anything about the year you had, what would it be? I feel like that's kind of nothing, honestly, because I think even the bad stuff that happened or the stuff I marked off as bad was probably from my good. I mean, you guys know if you've ever been over at my site, Romans 8 and 28 is my favorite scripture. All things work together for the good of them that love the Lord. So I truly and honestly believe that even the situations I mark off as bad are actually somehow working out to my better end. In the end of it, my good is there. And that's how I see everything. So I don't think I would change anything. Even, yeah, I wouldn't change anything. I don't want to become redundant and that scripture really means a lot to me but that's how I try to view everything even when I'm in the midst of a bad situation and I can't see a way out at all I always quote that to myself and tell myself you know what Tiffany you can't see it but God is in here working your good out somewhere like at the end of it when you crawl from under all the rubble and the, the the pain and whatever is coming through you to you right now when you get out of it your good is going to be there and that's how i have to look at everything or else that despair and depression and that way down feeling would set in so yeah i wouldn't change anything i'll have to share with you guys more in that scripture later because it's getting to me but number 10 and this is the last question for the look back the 2014 look back YouTube tag number 10 is share something you're looking forward to in 2015 um definitely growth because that's my word um and new experiences new friends new connections and just making changes I mean living life is all about making changes and growing and processing and getting to a new place you never ever ever want to get stagnant Cause when something is stagnant it just sits there and it just starts to collect dust and the bits of stuff from around it and i think the same thing applies to your life and you as a person if you just sit in one spot and you make no movement towards anything else you start to collect anger and pain and depression and you just start to collect things on your life that don't need to be there but on the twist side if you keep active and you keep moving and you keep growing and you keep pushing forward you're less likely to hang on to stuff that's not supposed to be there and more likely to move into the things that are meant for you. So that's what I look forward to in 2015, moving forward. 
Sounds good? I want to move forward with you guys too. So, make sure you let me know down in the comments below what you look back on 2014 and what you thought of your year and what you're looking forward to for 2015. And if you want to do this tag, consider yourself tagged. Just let me know that you do it so I can come by and support. I love supporting and let me know. Okay, let me know down below if you decide to do it so I can stop by and I'll talk to you guys in a few. Don't forget, I'm also linking this video up with MamaCatsLosingIt.com, her weekly link up. So I'll leave her link down. Blah, 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 blah. What's going on with me today? I'll leave her link down below as well so that you can go check out the amazing YouTubers and vloggers that are linking up with her too. That way all the support can get spread around all nice and even like. Isn't that awesome? Um, I feel like this tag got really deep <laughs> with some of the questions, but if you guys want to hear like a little bit more about how I feel about Romans 8 and 28 or how I feel about keep moving and moving forward in your life, let me know and I'll, I'll more than happily, does that make sense? More than happily, I'll be glad to do a video on that stuff in a little bit more detail, all right? So give me a thumbs up, let me know you liked what you saw, and I'll talk to you guys later. And I hope your day is full of love, life, and laughter. What is going Did you say smolder? <laughs>